right here we are in an area near Fasse, uh, in a place that was well heavily polluted in the past. I'm uh, currently walking into the direction of the former tear pit, or to be translated in English the tar pit, which was a chemical waste dump site and it was heavily polluted. Uh, nowadays you can't see any real uh, traces or remains of it anymore. But uh, there was a big environmental problem lurking in this area for several decades. Um, in the 1950s and 1960s a company from Haarlem called Witko Chemicals dumped a lot of uh, tar and that sort of uh, chemical waste into a pit and it became a massive environmental problem. Um, and this all took place between 1957 until 1972 and in the 1970s they tried to kind of control the uh, contamination but these early efforts were very unsuccessful. It's only been since the last decade or so that they were able to properly um, decontaminate and clean up the site and you don't really see much of it anymore. So let's just find out what it looks like today and maybe I will edit in some more uh, historical context of it but because that sort of chemical pollution that it was even possible to take place um, yeah is quite shocking but in the 1950s not many people were concerned about environmental problems and also they just kind of got away with it so yeah it is quite appalling that in the 1950s and 1960s uh, it was even possible for such a, uh, a chemical and environmental hazard to take place. In the late 1960s uh, people were starting to protest against it, especially local residents and the uh, municipality of Tubbergen uh, tried to stop it. But the chemical dumping continued uh, because the province of Overijssel had kind of overruled the local municipality. And uh, yeah, it took until 1972 for the uh, contamination and the chemical dumping to completely stop. But then became the problem of uh, controlling it. And uh, those early attempts were very unsuccessful. Uh, they tried to neutralize the uh, tar with um, limestone and chalk and those sort of things. Kind of basic uh, chemicals that uh, from a pH value point of view would neutralize the uh, acid tar. But yeah, it wasn't very successful. And they also tried to cover it up with sand and it took many years before they were able to really control it. And they had to do many excavations of it. And it wasn't until the early 2010s that they finally had a good plan to control it and to completely fix it. So let's just see what kind of remains of the site today. You probably won't see much of it anymore. Uh, I've been here in 2017 as well. I recorded some material uh, at the time which I did not upload because well I was kind of looking for the site and I couldn't find it. And uh, well the material is now a bit too old I think because it was filmed on my old GoPro and I didn't have a zoom recorder. Yeah, even at the time in 2017 you couldn't really see much of it. It was uh, already completely sanitized and kind of cleaned. But uh, I think we are getting pretty close now. Uh, there should be at least some indication of it that there used to be a chemical dump site here. Yeah, not much of it is visible anymore, I reckon. And I think we are getting closer to the field. So I think we have reached the place. Uh, I think I'm very close now. Uh, if my memory serves me right from 2017, this is where it should be. It's this field. Yeah, you don't see much of it. But 
apparently this was uh, excavated in 2010 and they used a lot of geoengineering plastics to kind of uh, cover the uh, contaminated area and they probably had to excavate it pretty deep I don't know how deep the excavation was but I think it was probably a few meters or so I have seen a historical footage of this site uh, images from the 1970s when the stuff was being dumped and also images uh, from when they tried to clean it up later and you could just see that there was a lot of black tar just coming up onto the surface uh, yeah it looked quite shocking <laughs> and supposedly this is what it is now nothing really remembers of it there's only this bench here and this was the site that was entirely like covered with tar Now you don't see anything of it anymore. But you have to imagine that they probably must have excavated this for a few meters and then lined it with geoengineering plastics and then added a new layer of soil on top of it. And now you've got this. Yeah, the stuff that they dumped here was like a sort of tar acid and it was mm, supposedly a byproduct of uh, some sort of mineral oil uh, manufacturing process so it was all just black and goopy uh, at least what you can see on old uh, footage from the 1970s the thing is if you wouldn't know that there was uh, an environmental hazard going on here in the past well yeah you just wouldn't know it I mean it looks also like normal now so I don't really know how big that tar pit has actually been um, when I'm walking around here it doesn't seem to be that big of a place but I've heard there had been multiple pits and it was like an excavation in which they dumped like the tar and now there's trees growing here yeah it, it's kind of a bit surreal I think uh, so yeah I think we've reached the end of the video uh, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching bye bye